Hello everyone and welcome back to another world building video for kind of the Ravion campaign setting. In this video we're going to talk about the final region within the Libet Empire. This time it's the Sandshore region. Uh, it's an extremely small region that borders the Serac Waste. Uh, it's dry and sandy scrubland with very limited foliage, but it's not quite a desert. Uh, it just merely borders one. And so it's kind of the first marker that you would see as you transition from the rest of the Libet Empire to then eventually an actual full-blown sandy dune desert. Uh, but it's kind of working its way there as a scrubland. This small territory is typically not really populated by many people, uh, with the few that do live here being relatively invested in the Serac Waste's actual activities or research purposes. Uh, many scholars and researchers have gravitated to the region in search of insight from the merchant groups of the Serac Waste as they explore the various ruins. And those scholars are present, they are not the only people hoping to benefit from the influence of the merchant bands of the Serac Waste. Many merchants, religious acolytes, and zealots hope to gain the additional insight from some of the oldest cultures in the world. The bazaars of the Sandguard city within the Serac Waste attract these individuals who have otherwise remained within the Levet Empire. So, let's take a look at where it is exactly. Right down here, you see the cities for Sandguard and Trade, Hall, Trade Mill. These are Serakian cities. These are the Serac Waste cities. So this is their territory. Just north of it, right above kind of where these rivers are and around, around this area here, just as it's kind of this more reddish color, ends up being the actual, uh, you know, sand kind of hold here. This is that edge of the desert scrubland. And very few people will actually live here. Very few people will actually uh, end up settling within this area, but those that do are usually transitionary in some to some degree. They may be living in a small, you know, settlement or uh, village kind of, you know, migratory settlement along the roadway or anything there as they make their way towards Sandguard or Trade Mill, but they tend to be transitory in nature. The creatures of the region do live primarily underground to fend off the heat, uh, though they do end up having plenty of life within the territory. Uh, they kind of exist to some extent to some extent above the surface in almost all capacities. Very few things live strictly below the surface. Uh, other creatures that live within the region are otherwise typically insect in nature, with the, some of the most dangerous communities living within the sparse tombs and ruins that border the Seracoise. Basically, the further you get into the Serac Waste, the more ruins and things you find. And so some of the world, if not most all of the world, has ruins that scatter and dot the landscape. These ruins that are interesting tend to, at least for the, the Serac Waste, have quite a bit of a different, you know, larger, uh, you know, ruin structure. There's, there's plenty of them around. And then you end up kind of going further north and they peter out as you reach into this kind of sand edge, sandy edge here, this edge of the desert. And so those things that do live within the territory here tend to either kind of be almost like an ant colony, going from the colony out on smaller missions to collect resources, food, hunt, do all of those kinds of things, which makes them relatively dangerous. Uh, but at the same time, there isn't much within the region in general in terms of human settlement or other kind of civilized settlements uh, or animals. The ones that do exist are relatively small and relatively simple. They aren't necessarily the most dangerous ones that you would be concerned about running into. Otherwise, that's it for the uh, actual Sandshore region. It's relatively quick today, <laughs> uh, but... Otherwise, thank you all for watching. In the next video, we're going to talk more about the Serac Waste and go into them just a little bit more. Uh, and I'll talk to you all for that next time, uh, for the next video. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. Be good to one another, and I will see you all next time. Bye.